Hello everyone, welcome to uh, my next video on Visual Studio Code and Setup. Uh, today we're going to talk about FTP Simple. FTP Simple is a synchronization extension you can use in Visual Studio Code that allows you to sync up changes to your server, uh, whatever server that you're using for your web hosting. This is going to be able to help you sync up files directly to your uh, whatever server you're using. Now I'm using ICDsoft to host my web accounts so I'm going to show you guys how to use ICDsoft as well but for any other um, server that you use, Azure or anything else, we're going to go ahead and it'll, it'll all be the same regardless kind of of what you use. The same idea, the same principles apply. So for starters, what we have here is I've gone to the extensions in Visual Studio Code in our marketplace, and I found FTP Simple. It's simply typing in FTP Simple here, and uh, the first one that comes up is your FTP Simple here. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and install it. Now, um, I'm probably going to do this in two parts, so this will be part one. Uh, I'd like to talk about FTP Simple recently had an update, actually, that caused things to break. It would um, it didn't allow anything to to sync up. It just the extension itself wasn't functioning properly. So I'm also going to show you guys how to install a previous version if you do have an update to one of your extensions. Uh, in Visual Studio Code you'll be able to go in and roll it back basically in the extension list. So we have FTP Simple installed. Now I know that this is the wrong version. This is going to be the most recent version, which is the broken one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and if you click this little manage, this little gear icon here on the extension, it'll give you an option down here to install another version. Go ahead and click that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the 0.70 uh, update or rather version for FTP simple, uh, the current one being 0.1. Let's go ahead and click that. It'll say installing. Um, it'll take a second to install the old version, basically rolling back to that version, and it'll prompt for a reload of Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead and reload it. And now you'll see over here in your extensions list, it's going to prompt you for updating uh, FTP simple. Go ahead and disregard. Uh, for those of us with OCD, it does kind of get um, annoying having that little pop-up there. But we don't want to update to that most current version because it is actually broken. Next, we're going to go ahead and just in your, in your Visual Studio Code workspace, uh, Control, Shift, and P, or Command, Shift, P on a Mac, will bring up um, your prompting for any of the items, extensions, terminals. That's a command for Visual Studio Code to use, and uh, I'll go into that a little bit later. Um, it's one of any, you can choose from any command in Visual Studio Code that you want to do. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and choose FTP Simple Config. Now, if it's not prompting you or you don't see it in the list, go ahead and just type in FTP Simple colon config and you'll see it come up here as the first one. We're going to go ahead and click FTP simple config and it will auto generate for you a local host configuration setting in the file uh, for your configurations. We're going to go ahead and add to this configuration file. I generally leave this local host configuration in there. It doesn't seem to cause any issues and then I add to it. Check out my next video part two where we're gonna go through ICD soft and setting up username, password, and the configuration file for FTP simple. Thanks for watching.